When we talk about modern spinal instrumentation, this is an example of pedicle screws. And pedicle screws are a great advance that has allowed us to make wonderful leap forwards in obtaining solid fusions on very limited numbers of, of bones. Old days, they used to fuse multiple levels and they had a hard time getting them to heal. But with the modern instrumentation, we can actually lock into one or two levels and get precise healing of just those areas and not disrupt the rest of the motion of the spine. These pedicle screws are actual screws that actually go into the bone through the pedicle, again the pedicle being the area between the vertebral body and the posterior structures. So this little area, the screw actually screws into that and then down into the vertebral body and actually is anchored. And we can't see these sticking out the front because they're buried in the bone. These screws then have a rod connecting them and a little cap on the top that locks them down. And this allows us to hold rigid fixation. This is just like having a cast on when you break an arm and you have to wear the cast till it heals. Well, this is an internal cast. And this actually holds the spine very stiff until it heals. Once the bones heal and we've accomplished a fusion, then you don't need the instrumentation anymore. If it doesn't bother the person, we leave it in there. If it causes any irritation just from the muscles rubbing against it, then we would take it out once the fusion's solid. So some of the modern instrumentation that we would use would be little cages like this. And these are actually lordotic titanium cages that we put in from the front of the spine, they restore lordosis or that lumbar curvature of the spine, restore the height of the disc space, and then we can actually put a protein sponge in there, a genetically engineered protein called BMP or bone morphogenetic protein, which will actually stimulate the primitive blood cells in the body to become bone. And this actually heals better than the traditional bone from the pelvis. So not only do we not have the pain of the bone from the pelvis, we actually have something which heals faster, better, than the old standard. So this is truly great modern spinal surgery. Whether we go to the front or whether we go to the back usually depends on the patient's anatomy, what their problem is, and what we're trying to accomplish. Sometimes an anterior surgery works extremely well. Sometimes a posterior surgery works extremely well. Sometimes we need to combine them where we go in the front and in the back. What we do depends upon whether we think the problem is mainly just disc degeneration, and we want to replace the disc or stabilize the disc, whether we need to decompress a nerve that's pinched, and what expectations the patient has. Also, if they're extremely obese, getting to the front of the spine is much harder. If, if they have prior radiation treatment, surgical scars, that may affect which way we go. Both operations are excellent. Some work better for certain situations than others, and which one we choose depends upon what the surgeon thinks needs to be accomplished and how the patient's anatomy corresponds to that.